Okay, everybody, so I'm in the 5125R John Deere again. I'm going to do a quick demonstration on the uh, command quad manual transmission. So, if you watch my other video, I kind of went through the basics of it, but basically, three ranges that are singles A, B, and C, and then two multi ranges C and D. So, right now I'm sitting in multi range B, C, D, and I have my start gear set at B3. So, if I look at my screen here, B3 is the first gear, but I can change that. This lever here is used to gear down and gear up. So if I flip this around, you see a change in the gears. So right now, if I start this tractor off, I put my reverser in forward position. I get F on the uh, heads up display, and I'm in B1 in BCD mid range. So if I let the clutch out, this thing's going to start going. You know, obviously I can throttle up. And if I hit this lever one time, B2, B3, B4. And if I was in a single range, like B by itself, that would be as high as I could go. But because I'm in a multi range, if I want to get to another range here, let's say I want to go a little faster with this current speed, I could just take my lever, hit that again, and this thing automatically changes to C range and goes to C1. Or, let's say, I, I want to get another way that you could do this. You can actually take this lever and you can double toggle it. If you double toggle it, it will jump a range for you. So I'm going to go down and double toggle this. Now I'm going to straight part of the road here. I'm going to show you the double toggle here. So if I double toggle this, get my tractor straight. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. Double toggle. All right, we just jump right over the C range and run right to D. And it does that automatically. And what's also nice too, when you slow down, it starts changing your gears to match kind of your current ground speed. So it just brought that back to B3 for me on its own. Now I can also, if I bring this back to B1 and I can start moving here, I can just hold this lever down as well. If I just hold this lever down, B3, B4, C1, C2, and so on, I'm getting off the road here. But you can kind of hold it down. That makes it nice when you're when you're coming out of a field and you're getting on the road. You don't have to keep handling that lever. You can just hold it down and it will automatically change those gears for you. Now, like I said, when you're in a field, you might not want to be able to go that fast. You might want to lock this out of those ranges. So you could just select an individual range by itself. So if I go to B, okay, I'm, I'm locked in the B range. It will only operate in the B range, just like the old Power Quad, uh, Power Quad Plus transmission. So it'll stay in the B range only. And I can use either these controls or the controls on my loader control to change my gears up and down. Now this tractor also has what's called auto clutch. And I'll show you that here while we're at it. I have to turn that back on. I actually have it turned off. I can turn auto clutch on. Auto clutch is kind of nice when you're doing loader work. Um, when you step on the brakes, it automatically clutches the tractor for you. So here we go. So I'm going to get this tractor going forward again in B2. We're going forward. Okay, now if I just auto clutch is on, if I just step on the brake, okay, tractor declutches itself. When I let off the brake, it'll re-engage the clutch, and move the tractor on too. I can also do that going in reverse. So brakes on, change my reverse to reverse, let off, and then we'll change it that way for you. So that's kind of nice when you do a loader work. You don't have to work both your clutch and your uh, brake pedal, you could just use the brake pedal by itself, kind of like you're running a backhoe. So that's a quick rundown on the uh, command quad manual transmission. This is a 16 forward, 16 reverse transmission. Um, they also offer the command 8, which is a 32 forward, 16 reverse transmission. And it also has the automatic mode where you dial in your ground speed. The tractor will maintain gears to match that ground speed. Uh, this, tra this transmission, the command quad manual, comes in as base on these tractors. The command 8 is an option. If you need any more information or if you'd like to see a little, some more demonstrations on this transmission, uh, just go ahead and post a comment in the section below. Hope you enjoyed that short video.